Hello beautiful soul, welcome in Virgo, welcome to your fellow Virgo, my name is Leela, welcome to the Gifted Hermit, I hope everybody's well. I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross, we're going to jump straight into it, no messing around. Um, current circumstances, you've got the Page of Pentacles, okay, this is you Virgo manifesting new opportunities okay and it could be something to do with community i feel like there's a lot of contacts here a lot of a lot of you are especially in the career aspects okay are beginning to network beginning to connect connect with people that you've never connected with before okay there's also good news okay there's good stuff happening around you now whether you know it or not okay i see you guys developing a skill maybe perhaps trying to build this career situation you know there's a lot of financial opportunities here there's a lot of new career paths here for some of you some of you might be starting a new job or a new uh a new skill right okay this is about making your plans a reality all right you may be a beginner at something here whatever it is that you're started you're new to this perhaps but there's a lot of opportunity, there's a lot of money perhaps to be made here, whether you know it or not, okay? There's commitment here, you have to be committed. And I always, I'm a big believer, whatever you commit yourself to, you will see results, okay? You can make your prosperity a reality, you just really got to put your head down. New perspectives, having a new way of thinking, okay? Any plans that you have, use it. Uh, master it master the gifts that you already have and let me just pause on this reading for a second okay because as a virgo i know a lot of us or some of us this will relate to okay but we have to stick our ground okay and we have been and we're doing it for good reason okay so even if you feel bad with a situation or you've had to stick your ground you've done it for good reason okay you may have had a lot of people attacking you or you felt like you're being attacked and stuff like that and that may have suppressed your emotion but people are naturally drawn to you virgo okay you are a light giver you are somebody that is naturally grounded someone that naturally gives good advice okay let's move on to what is either helping you or hindering you, all right, and that is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is a beautiful, a beautiful card to have, okay, so it's either the community is helping you, the people around you, your family, they're helping you or they're hindering you, okay, but there's definitely expansion here, I see growth here in your career aspects, maybe in your love life as well, harmony in relationships, okay, this is either what's hindering you, maybe you're trying to find a balance with career and emotions, you know, your personal life and stuff like that, it's important to have the right people around you, because as Virgos, we're naturally, um, we're hard workers, you know, we're very determined people, we're ambitious and stuff like that, Let's move on to what it is that you can expect, okay? So what we've got is the Ace of Pentacles here. So what we can expect from this situation, all these plans you have, all this stuff that you've been working so hard towards, or whatever this new beginning is, okay? You can expect a gift, an opportunity. You can start to see growth here, all right? The Ace of Pentacles is, is a new beginning it's an offer, it's financial abundance, it's a new job, something branching, you know, branching out, you can see the roots beginning to, to grow here, right, so there's growth, so what we see here is definitely growth and expansion, okay, and an opportunity, and offers, and gifts, you know, I pick up on gifts as well, um, Let's keep it moving, okay? So the foundation, the hidden factors, the page of swords. Maybe you need to do more research. Maybe there needs to be more training here. There's this emphasis on training. I feel like also with it being hidden factors, people are spying on you, Virgo. There's people watching you. Um, 
watching what you're up to, learning from you. Okay, we naturally teach people. We learn from each other anyway as humans. But I think there's an emphasis here on this reading, Virgo, that people are watching you and how you work and how you play and they're trying to learn from you, okay? Um, which is fine, you know. It's good to inspire people. But um, I do see, it could be like someone trying to catch you out. That's what we get here, all right? It's very important, I think I need to say that again, it's very important to get all the research. I see someone getting all the facts here, you know, um, wanting to get all the facts. And it's important, again, to train and uh, know what you're doing. And we're good at that. So if we feel like we don't know what we're doing, then we go and read a bit more. We go and train and, and further our, our horizons, you know, and really kind of get our brains going. So the past, the queen of pentacles in that past position, you was maybe smothering, needy. This can talk about helicopter parenting, okay? For any of you that are parents, it can talk about constantly hovering over your child, wondering what is it up to, questioning them, their character, whatever. That's not healthy. It can talk about smothering, being needy. Um, but that's the past. You know, what? when we move into... The future energies, we've got the emperor, we've got someone that's in an authority position, we've got someone that's powerful, whether that be you or someone coming towards you, because it, it, with it being in the future position, it can indicate somebody that's long term, that's going to come into your life, okay? Um, it's a beautiful card. I like the Emperor card. Always like the Emperor card. Could be a possible fire sign coming into your life. Someone that just has fire in their chart or in their character. All right. Um, but it's divine masculine and it's powerful and it's someone that's a natural leader. And I definitely think like a lot of you are natural leaders. Again, it could be someone coming into your life, but this is taking action, taking control of your life, bringing out structure, using strategic plans, being sensible, getting some order back in your life, okay? This is this is confident, getting more confident and, and he's a very generous person, you know, he's, a, he's an emperor after all. Someone that's very ambitious, someone that finds their own success always on the move, you know, they, they don't sit down and mope about it. Some of you are entrepreneurs. Some of you may need to work your magic, all right, to, to get better results and establish your roots, establish your ground where it is you're going. It's important to remain flexible and, and be aware of your own energies and the energies that you have around you. This is a beautiful fire, fiery energy, okay? And success can arise from here. You've got to be confident. You've got to keep going, okay? You are a compassionate person. Whether you are a boss or you have the boss credentials, you, are, you have that compassionate leadership. The world is yours. The world is yours. Let's keep it moving. Um, how you see yourself. And what you can do. So we've got a lot of fear here. A lot of illusion. Fear is an illusion. Always remember that. Confused. Suppressing emotions. That maybe need to be brought to the surface. That may need to be dealt with. Fear is an illusion guys. Fear may be holding you back. What you can do is work on it. Work on yourself. Work on... The stuff that you are suppressing. Ask yourself, why am I fearful? What are you in fear of? It's an illusion. <clears throat> you know? Fear is an illusion. I've said that loads. I think I might title it. It's not what you think it is. It's, it's, it's usually never what we really think it is in life. Um, it's a water sign. It's about emotions as well, okay? Your emotions could be getting the better of you. It could be that. You could you could work on these emotions. You could embrace them. You could talk about them. You can trust in your intuition. The moon talks about trusting in your intuition. Trust in your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Change your perception if you need to. This is about facing your fears now. You can face your fears head on. 
all right outside influences the five of wands you're going to have people that's going to bring bullshit to the fan you're going to have people that's going to want to draw you out bring the worst out in you compete with you fight with you conflict but they're outside influences you can keep them outside you know you can keep that energy that competitiveness that that conflict that toxic energy they may influence, they've probably influenced all this fear, all this anxiety maybe, you know, this suppression. That six of cups with the hopes and fears. You know, some of you have your own inner child to work on. Some of you are hopeful that you're going to have more children. Some of you are hopeful that you're going to grow into the person that you're meant to grow into, okay? Okay. Some of you don't want to be statistics. I, you know, I pick up on that. Um, you know, you don't want to be the cliche story. I do see independence here. We go to the outcome, the temperance card, guys. The friggin' temperance card. It's a beautiful card. You know, this is harmony. This is success. Um, a, a very beautiful card. Very beautiful indeed. Okay? It may be that there's a shift around... The 14th of August um, or the 14th of September. But this is a blending, you know, finding that balance of the masculine and the feminine. Okay. This is also about being neutral and being patient. There's a lot of growth here. This is about you being patient and and moderate okay and focusing your precious precious energy on what needs to be focused on this is about becoming spiritually one spiritually whole a very beautiful card temperance you know the outcome is looking very promising i see total growth here total leveling up total maturity <clears throat> It's a fire energy card, uh, Sagittarius energy. But um, it can also talk about a reconciliation. So if any of you are wanting to reconciliate with somebody, it's going to happen anyway, whether that be your lover, your family, your friends. You know, I do see people coming back together, okay? And resolving any financial difficulties or any issues that has arisen. <coughs> Excuse me. You, Virgo, are the spiritual being in this reading, okay? And I feel like you are going to be the one that's going to bring perhaps everybody back together or your, fa you know, whether it's your family, your team. <sighs> and this talks about angels as well. I've just, I'm just looking at a piece here. It says, angels traditionally appear on the lover's judgment and temperance card on temperance the angel has been identified as archangel michael on the lovers archangel raphael while on the judgment card archangel gabriel calls us to evaluate our past actions angels appear on the on these three cards because they suggest a need for personal integrity there is much at stake Temperance Archangel Gabriel is ruler of the element of water. Water represents emotion, communication, renewal and life. If we pay close attention to the demands upon our time rather than being overwhelmed by them, we become active rather than reactive. As the angel manages the flow of water from one cup to another, we too can find the perfect balance. It's a, it's, a, it's a lovely card, I think, okay? So what I do see here is success. I do see a reconciliation. I do see a blending of ideas, okay? Balancing conflicts and whatever's going on in life. Like, right, highly spiritual card. What I want to get now is... Sorry for the children in the background. Eight. 
angels, crystal guides. Give us a card for Virgo. <laughs> Are you ready to meet the love of your life? Or wow. Or reignite your connection with your partner? Cultivate the loving relationships in your life. Change your mindset to think as we rather than I to attract or renew more love into your life. Yeah, so it's a that's a really nice message here. Are you listening to your inner guidance? Let go of the extra stress in your life. Release obstacles that cause frustration. Align with angels and allow divine orchestration to light your path to bring you to the right place at the right time. Flow and allow your inner guidance to show you the way. Listen to that still, small voice within the order to find the answers you seek. Yeah, listening to your intuition, listening to your own inner child, because you know exactly what you want. OK, things have been unsettled in the past. You are coming in control of your life. I do see, you know, new career situations really branching out nicely. Right. Is there any love messages for Virgo? Any love messages? OK, so I'm already picking up on. And it's literally what the crystals were saying. You know, you, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, so someone wants to plan to see you. Okay, with regards to love or you're planning to see somebody. There is communication here. There is a new beginning, I feel, for some of you. Messages of love, please. Okay, I feel like some of you feel like someone's giving you the cold shoulder with regards to love. Um, yeah, someone may be making you feel dumb or silly or... And that's fine. Okay, it's the last push. Don't give up. Don't give up on, on your career that's coming out here. Don't give up on your family, your loved ones. Don't give up on what you've already started. I feel like there's a lot of shadow work going on here. Any messages regards to love, please? You guys have got a lot on your shoulders. You have a lot on your shoulders. Some of you are bored. You're fed up. Fed up of love? Fed up of the same old, same old? Hmm? You ready to change things up? Going through some major changes. Maybe you're fed up of somebody in particular. We've got Leo here. We've got Scorpio here. Some of you are fed up of love. Some of you really want to change now. Some of you, read, there's, there is new love here. Look, we've got the Ace of Cups and, you know, whether something's ending, there's definitely something beginning. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Love, peace and light, guys. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it really resonates with you in any way, okay? Mwah.